After meeting up with Anthony and the others at the exam center, Samus discovers a Zabezian with cyborg characteristics. The team then learns about the Federation's biological weapon development program and the person in charge of it, Madeline Bergman. <gasps> Shortly thereafter, a violent, unidentified creature attacks. Having been saved from certain death by a blast from Anthony's plasma gun, Samus regroups with the soldiers, who have found Lyle's corpse, this guy. Afterwards, Samus finds the cast-off skin of the small creature she had seen earlier. Samus receives a, a new order from Adam to follow the wounded creature and investigate Sector 3. So what happens if you don't get saved by Anthony? Does you, that dialogue well, change? Well, you die. Uh, welcome back to Metroid Other M, by the way. Well, it's, I'm thinking if you actually kill the thing, but apparently it looks like you're supposed to lose that fight. I mean, I mean apparently I think I did good enough that, it, that uh, I survived, I suppose. It just seems like I, th I think I think that's supposed to create tension. And oh, here we go. Oh, All right. yes, this part. If 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 you get hurt enough uh, too much by that creature, like probably don't do enough damage to it, mm -hmm. then you will die. But apparently, I did good enough that I got saved by Anthony. I got a feeling we're gonna fight that thing again, and I won't have the backup this time. <laughs> anyway, some dodges here, and we are now getting ourselves hurt. Ouchie, ouchies! It is way too hot to be in here because you know, this metal is kind—it's—it's of, it's, it's kind of cooking me alive. Okay. You, you, ever, you ever put a tin can over an open flame? That's kind of what's happening here. <laughs> or but, and, and, or you know, microwaved aluminum. And you see, the thing is, I—I I have my various suit with me, like yeah. with me right now, Whee! but I—but I don't need—I don't want to use it because that would upset Adam. That would upset Adam and his particular OCD micromanaging asshole tendencies, and you know. Him being my daddy, I just can't let that happen. I've been, so, wait, I've been waiting for this. Okay, so, well, now now we're out of the heat area, but, you know, it's too bad that we can't kill enemies to get health back, because I just basically lost almost an entire E-Tank because I had, to appe I had to appease daddy. And now we got some enemies here that, well, they're not, um, they're kind of shaking off my diffusion blast. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, what? It's not so much nuh -uh damage, it's just, it's more like nope damage. It's like they're, they're, they're reacting and they're st they're stumbling back, but I'm not doing any damage. Uh huh. That's because they're too goddamn hot. Wait, what? They're too goddamn hot. I mean, they're they're, they're fire beasts. There's no way I can I can take them out. Uh huh. They're not really doing anything. I mean, you killed one, so that's cool. Okay, not these, not these things, these the beasts. But uh, I'm talking about that hive up there. Oh, the hive. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, it looks like you're doing damage. Uh, maybe I'm. Those not, things. Not, oh, those, those things. things. Yeah, those are the things. Oh. Yeah, those are the things that aren't really doing. That, those are the things that are kind of shaking up everything. These, these guys, these guys are fine. Okay. So Adam has an idea. Samus, use your ice beam. But, what? Perfect. Kinda of wild that he gives me the ice beam before my various suit, but that's okay, I'll take it! We now have the ice beam, which awesome. pairs with the diffusion beam, which means now we can blast an entire re refrigerator with every charge Oh, shot. that's awesome! Giant, Check it out! Giant refrigerator damage? Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's great. So that so that freezes a lot of enemies in a wide radius. This is this is a good addition. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, and it froze his hands! He yep, can't it, shoot at it you! It froze his hands, and there we go. That, yeah, that, that's It that, stopped that's good. his weapons! Oh, oh, that's awesome! All right, Adam, that's, that's gonna give you... That, that, that's gonna be a positive in your... Your Yelp review at the end of this. You know, a half star. All right, so gotta use something. not not that one, but this one. Power up. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, a a way to if jump I'm, jump into the sky. If I'm going somewhere weird, it's either leading to a power up, much like this. Ooh. This is another Excel a, a charge. Squatty potty. We can now we can now charge faster. Okay, cool. We can now dis dispel more death ice beam everywhere faster. Oh, fantastic! Oh, you can even freeze them. So if I'm if I'm going somewhere weird, I'm I'm either getting a power up or it's the way forward. Okay. Then we're going to a lot of weird places. I notice this place is just fuming, and I gotta wonder. What is the use for a room like this? See, I, I think that uh, the art the art design and the story design had a bit of an argument because yeah. they, they wanted to have it on a planet. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, continue. It, it is cool because it's ice. It's, but, well, but, it yeah, you, <laughs> wait, well, yeah, you do that and you get your uh, that out. Then you was, you're supposed to get your missile out if this was more intuitive. But uh, I, I think that uh, they had an argument between whether this game is supposed to take place on a research station or a planet. 
Yeah, because this, if this is for research, it's like, is this the incinerator part of the planet? Like, is this where we send all the failed experiments? Like, like they're, they're, they're trying to do what Metroid Fusion did, because Metroid Fusion had the, the BSL, the Biological Space Labs. Uh, th those are, those are basically you know a lot of test rooms and that, all that. That and made so, sense. And and you, you had like the like the cryo region and all that, but they did it wasn't like this. Why are there sand in these in these hallways? Exactly. Are they trying to make glass? Oh, does this work? Did that work? Oh, I see what this is. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah. So just, just a little smack. A little just hopping in here. How are you supposed to know that? Your map's supposed to tell you by highlighting them on your map. Uh oh. Little, little, little blue dots. But sometimes they're. Sometimes the game's like, oh, how did that get to there? Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. See, I love that. The fact that your ice beam actually does more than just, you know, shoot ice and freeze your enemies in place, like, say, Super Metroid, when you were actually fighting the Metroid, it stopped them. But this one, it's actually, like, you can see it. They, prevent them from attacking. They have their own unique animations for being frozen. And that's, that's cool. And anything that needs a unique animation, you know, takes a lot of work. Yeah. So good on them for that. I wish they would have had someone smarter at the helm to make everything blend together better. But also the diffusion ice beam is just. I, I love your description of shooting a literal refrigerator at things. It's, it's like look it's at it. Look at it. It's so cool. It's like, he, like here, here's an eighth of the North Pole from my beam here. Enjoy. Enjoy your new freezer. That's cool. Oh, that feels nice. I like the way that feels. That's great. It makes such a huge blast. That yeah, took up that the move? entire hallway. Oh, that's so neat. So that, uh -oh. Uh -oh. that that's cathartic, but I, I just wish that there would be a reason to kill enemies. Oh, that's bad. To get missile power-ups, to get health back. I would love to get some health back. You know, that'd be really swell, guys, if you would allow me Ow. to get some health back. But this is a Ninja Gaiden game. They, they, they gotta be tough as nails, so we gotta, like, not have that for some reason. I don't know why. God, you're, you're losing health every time you reach the bottom. You only have 37 left. Yeah, that, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Oh, Matter yeah. of fact, I wonder if I could just go down there and get my health down to below 30 and then hop back <laughs> up. And do it. Yeah, yeah. What a stupid mechanic that is. Man, I was, I was talking good about the game, and then look what happened. Because the, this... Yeah. There better be a navigation room right here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, there you go. See, I keep trying to find positives in games that... I didn't like the first time around. Like, I was able to find a couple positives in Resident Evil 6. I was forced to find a couple positives in Dead Rising 4. There is good stuff here. Oh, yeah, there's there's no shortage. But It's, it's oh, just but mired down by the... A lot of the... Uh, uh, yeah. This right here. A lot of the awfulness comes down to Yoshio Sakamoto. He really dropped the ball. Oh, my God, I love that. It's like, yeah, get your face sealed by ice, loser. I, I, I don't know how much Yoshio Sakamoto actually did and, and how much is actually, oh, we blame him for everything. Because I would love to blame him for everything. It would be easy. It would make sense for me to, but... Nah, there's a whole team behind this, unfortunately. I'd, I'd, I'd rather do my research before I do that, but... Oh! Oh! There you go. Ow, 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 ow. Holy cow! Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. That's oh. that's cool and and awesome. I'm not not like I'm already taking damage now. Oh well, da, da, well da, about da, that. Da, about da, that. Uh, by, by, by the way, by the way, you go go in here. Ha, it, drop are, you, are you sure? Uh, it, yes, it, yep, yes. There's an opening right there. Ah. You had to get this now. Get, it couldn't wait. It. it couldn't wait. You just got had to get it now. Okay. Okay, we're good. Well, now that we got an energy part, run. <laughs> okay, get my calisthenics in, and we're good. God, that's agony. I mean, we're not the best right now. We're kind of kind of really hurting here. Yeah, oh, we are hurting badly, friends, and it'd be really nice if they had health pickups. I'm just going to mention every time that it would have been nice to happen, which is all oh, the time. Oh, shot in the back. What a coward bug. There we go. But they don't need a missile to take down the hives. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Ah, the floor observation room. Cut scene. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, cool! Oh, fuck that! Oh, cool! Fuck that! That's nice. Thank you so much. If you you didn't see that coming, did you? What? It, you know, it would have been really cool if I had health pickups, oh. you know, or something like that. That would have been, been nice. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. How are you alive? It's it's like your final hit, your last your oh. last hope. And. and Really would have been cool if we had health pickups along the way, wouldn't it? That way I would have been prepared. Maybe I would have known about it ahead of time and I could, like, you know, uh, grind some of those enemies. You have, like, res infinite responding thing, but... Well, at the very least, it's a game from 2010, which means we have very uh, convenient checkpoints, but I only have one E-Tank now. That's about where you were at. 
All right, this guy, this motherfucker, Asborian. I'm sure he is. He's a hermit crab. Shoot him in the shoot him in the belly. That's the only place to shoot him at. He's he's very very grabby, very very hurdy. He's only vulnerable at certain points. He will do a lot of no uh, damage, as you can see. Uh, or horseshoe crab, excuse me, not a hermit crab. Here we go. Woo! And he fires these things out, which is just lovely as well. That should have been a time to shoot him. There we go. There we go. I should jump on him though, but. Eh. Uh, oh! Oh! oh what? Uh, that. Uh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I can't tell you how maddening it is and how stressful it is to get to get this get this tough enemy down and then go into first person, which takes a second by the way. Get your bearings because I now know. it's because now uh, you pointed it you know, somewhere. Oh, you did it. Samus is just, you know, pointing it around somewhere, I don't know where. Maybe she's doing like the, the flapping arm. It's like, no, stop! It is it is terrible. That's a good characterization of a badass character. See them cower in fear and go, no! Please. And apparently this was Yoshio Sakamoto's idea to go from first to third with the one Wii mote, and they, they said use a nunchuck. He said no. I don't know how true that is. I don't. I, I haven't done my research. Well, let's find another positive. Okay. Look, look at this hallway. Okay. Another positive. It's cool finding stuff. Yeah. They got they got them hidden, but, but they're not really hidden like Metroidvania things are, where you go back and get them. Not until the very, 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 very end of the game. Well. They're hiding things like... like they're, they're hidden like Ninja Gaiden things are. You're about to die. Yeah, I'm you're about to die. You're going to die. That Especially since you're being... Oh my god! You, you, you know what? Fucking kill me! Fucking kill me! I don't give a shit! Do it, you coward! Let me die! <laughs> Just let me... Or maybe I can... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, Alright, there, there we go. go. Samus, what's going on? What happened? If only there was some way... If only there could be a way that no, there... I could prevent that from happening! No, there's no way. What? Possibly could I do, Niskel? There's no way. There's just nothing you what can do. What could I do that could keep my morals intact of me not offending my daddy? It's impossible. You just can't do it. Now I gotta get all those power-ups again. You can tell I'm a little frustrated now. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little tilted. A little tilted. I can see it. <laughs> Frothing at the mouth ever so slightly. <laughs> You, you know, that death would have been prevented if I would have had power-ups and health pickups along the way or something. You can't steer the ball because... <laughs> I, it'd, be, it'd be easy to steer the ball if I had a fucking joystick, but no, I've got to use a stupid D-pad that's digging in my fucking thumb! Alright, easy there, man. Don't want you to pop a blood vessel. Can we find another positive somewhere? No, absolutely. This is a cool set piece. Yeah, this is a cool shot. It's kind of stupid, kind of nonsensical. No, no, positives, no, no. Positives, positive, 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 positive. positive. It's kind of like a callback to that moment in Ocarina of Time where you had to like get the Hylian shield oh, yeah, and like you know, <laughs> Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> and yeah, you made it! Oh! Oh, perfect! Great! Imagine that! Save point right after uh, getting beaten down by a monster and yeah. having to evade all that fire and all those better if I would have had health pickups along the way or something like that. <laughs> at, at, like, at the very- like, <laughs> Alright, it doesn't have to be like Metroid where like every other enemy gives you health pickups and missiles because that would break the game. At least give me like- have them infrequently, like every tenth enemy I get, I get like ten back or something like that. That would have been okay. Well, wouldn't it be awesome? Or, or, if or, or, or like if I had like certain health pickups, like you know, thrown out, like health packs. Well, I'm just thinking, Med like, kits. why not have the exploding rocks give you power ups? It wouldn't it be there would be an explanation for that. It's like, oh, the, one of the labs is exploding, blowing rock and space debris all over the place. Then there might have been some health packs in there. They're not focusing enough on her power suit. Oh no, they're clearly f focusing on her power too. She's so overpowered, she's not allowed to use anything. I, I know, and they're like threatened by that or something. I hate that. Toxic masculinity. Uh, and and uh, Samus is so crushed over her midlife crisis and her and her uh, child death that she's just she's like, <laughs> oh, okay, Adam, whatever. Like maybe she's in a haze right now, just kind of just <laughs> just kind of gl like, gliding gl through all like, this. She, she's not really here right now. She took like three Ambien before she got on the ship. <laughs> And like, and like two glasses of wine. She's she's just not having it right now. She's like, okay, Adam, understood, whatever. <laughs> okay. A couple horse tranquilizers too, just for the complete uh, comedic effect. Space horse tranquilizers. Mm, nah, it takes a lot to take down the space horse. It's a and grade. I wouldn't, ex <laughs> I, I wouldn't explain every dumb thing, but that, but yeah, I think I'd like that angle better. <laughs> oh, exactly. She becomes a wino before this goes on. Is that a half bite? Or no? That that's that uh, was not a half pipe. Okay. That no, that was that was a uh, that's not, that was an energy part. That was our fourth one. Oh no, uh, sorry, I was looking at the thing you drained. 
Oh, this. Yes, they, this. Yeah, that we're coming into. Yeah, there, there were two, uh, two trays. He just oh, jumps no. you into the hot oh. shit. Why? <laughs> Why? You know, I, I could see Adam smuggling. Oh, God, oh Jesus! It's lava. Go, okay. Jesus! So, Adam's just sitting there in the control room watching all this, and mm. just like, yeah, that'll mm. teach her to badmouth me. I'll just send her into the hot area without using the various suit. Oh my god, so, dude. There's, that, there's tentacles, that was, too. That was clear for a dodge for, like, hours, man. I, you could have gotten I, that. I, 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 thought I, I, I thought I got it, though. I'm trying to dodge it like I always ah, do. Oh, shit! Oh, god! The diffusion beam is great and all, but it, it, it leaves me, like, hanging in the air. It'd be <laughs> perfect for a dodge punish it. counter. Here we go. That's, that, 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 that did good. And, uh, my new E-Tank is already gone. Okay, go, That's go, good. go, 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 That'll teach that little bitch. Okay, okay. As fast as shit. Don't worry about shooting enemies. Don't worry about killing enemies because, hey, as we've established, not like they do anything. There's Dodge no reason to. Uh, I am dodging it, and it's not doing it. I swear to God. <laughs> It's not hard to dodge, just press the control pad whenever you see a thing, and she'll dodge it. And let me tell you, Nesco, I'm, uh, my thumb is already over that control pad. <laughs> Worked that time, but apparently I just gotta take guaranteed damage for that one! It wasn't guaranteed. I have a feeling it's one of those stupid things where, you know, you were using the control pad to move. The game so is they just wanted half a, asleep. They wanted a separate control in order for you to actually oh, dodge. Oh, by, by the way, now that your one E-Tank is gone, let's go ahead and activate your various suit now! <laughs> this is where it gets activated? Yeah! <laughs> it's, it's not even a See, it's not even a various suit because we couldn't afford to change her, uh, her color. It's a very, uh, feature. Oh my god. So now, she just won't take heat damage because Adam... Finally gave it the okay. He probably finally woke up from his Valium. He's just like, whoa, whoa. Oh, she's in the hot area already? Ah, shit. HQ finally said okay. Adam finally said good. So now we can have a good old-fashioned boss fight. And I think it actually healed my my uh, damage from that. So yeah, it did. That's that's handy. That's cool. Thank you. But what is the fucking reason we had to wait so long? Why does this dragon have a beard? This is a goofy looking fucker. Like it's the fact that Adam is just sitting in the office, just watching this shit happen. And he's just, he's just saying, hmm, you should go to the hot area. Uh, you know, I think I'll wait about 10 minutes before I actually say that it's okay to use it. God, I wish my Federation soldiers would listen to me the way she listened to me. Normally, they just call me an idiot when so I tell why, them not to use their things. Why should I respect this dingbat if he doesn't have my, my best interest at heart? You know, I can't wait to see the reasoning where he authorizes power bombs. He better either be choked and gagged or just has a come to Jesus moment where he's going, ah, shit. Oh, that that asshole. Asshole. Yeah, he melted his ice. Great. That's, that's a fun boss fight we got here. We got the one all right here. It's very Ninja Gaiden-esque. Is it auto-locking? Uh, there, there is a method of auto-locking. I, 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 I call it my Shadow the Hedgehog method. I was about to say, it looks like it's doing its job, which is great. Because I, I find when I, when I jump, I can see, I can like aim better where she's going because I can jump towards it instead of just, yeah. re just relying on this... this just dodgy D-pad. See, that's nice. It's like, look, look how quickly she moves. I have no, I, I have no dead zone between the analog. I, like, I can't move a little bit and and move a lot. It just doesn't work that way. You are doing tons of dodges. I'm doing. Oh, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Jump on it. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Freeze yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Jump up. <laughs> Get dumped on, nerd. Let's go. Up here. Yeah. And then, here I go. Blast him and in the, blast him in the why, head. Why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? I press the button, you assholes. Oh. Come on. <laughs> well, I think I just saw the vitriol leak out of your fingertips. <laughs> Come on. Ha! <laughs> it didn't work. It's an easy boss. It's easy to dodge. It's not terrible. Oh my god. I don't, I don't, like, I don't like these, uh, you know, four swiping tentacle moves See, that he has. This, That's not fun. This reminds me of some of the bosses you fight in Dread. Like, when you actually do the specialty they want you to do, like, when they give you wide open, like, hey, you need to shoot this, and then you do, your catharsis is being able to run up to the boss and shoot it in the fucking face! What are you supposed to do? You hold it just right, and then just, 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 just mash it, just do whatever, there you go. Wait, that was it? It barely looked like it did anything. Oh, look at his health bar. 
I know, it took half of it, but... It, it did quite a lot. We got You gotta do it again. I mean, it's nice. See, ideally, you're supposed to do it right the first time. And then... That's right. <laughs> yeah, where were you on that? Huh? I, I, I was right here, yelling at my controller. I was about to say, yeah, yelling at the Weibo. I'm, I'm sending Sakamoto a very strongly worded email saying, I think the nunchuck would have been a lot better. I think he's gone on interviews saying that he wouldn't change anything about other round. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. like that's really not, that's not a good look for him. Nothing. It's not a good look. For I him. think even Kojima and his masterpieces would probably have some reasons to you know change some things. Yeah, I don't know. I just recently heard that Kojima actually had to explain to a boardroom why he wanted Metal Gear Solid 2 to exist. And when you have to deeply explain a video game, a sequel to your video game, that's eh, not a good sign. He saw the Matrix, plain and simple. I don't think that would fly in a boardroom, unfortunately. It's like, uh, I need to make Metal Gear Solid 2 like this because I saw The Matrix and dude, it was awesome. It was and, awesome, and dude, dude. Dude, it was cool. I need to make my game like this, my god, dude! <laughs> it, it was awesome, please help me. I want to watch the other Matrix films. So what, what's Yoshio Sakamoto's excuse? He saw a chick flick written by a man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm looking up, uh... I was, I was, I wanted to see what scores were for this game, because I'm, de I'm so curious. Like, this only upsets Metroid fans, because, you know, on its own, it's okay, because look at this, you, like, you play this on any trailer, and it's like, you know, top 10 most awesome game moments of 2010, <gasps> doing oh, this oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh yeah! That's Boys! awesome! That was cool! I could tell by the way that was sick fly mad awesome that this hey, mission hey, was spoilers, bad. spoilers, spoilers. I'm, I'm waiting for the monologue, please. She has to explain to me why she felt bad for killing the monster that was Thank about to kill her. Thankfully, she shuts the fuck up here. You just see these these glimpses, these mo these little moments. Like that was cool. That was cool. Didn't say a word. Didn't drop her her uh, her uh, visor opacity. You didn't need anything else. Just, just yeah. All right, moving on. Now I can go down here. Now that Daddy Adam has let me go and visit here, but they've of course added a whole bunch of enemies down here to help us with. Would have been nice to deal with them, but uh, you know, get some health back for what lies ahead. But as we've established, they don't allow health pickups because that's just not what we're going for here. That's just not what this is about. Yoshio Sakamoto is, is perfect, and you know, health pickups, that's not the way things go now. Mm hmm. So I have a little bit of faith in humanity now. I'm looking up uh, Metroid Other M. August 31st of 2010. Wow. Yep. Uh, Metacritic score currently of a 79, user score of 6.7. So a resounding yeah. meh. The resounding meh. And you you dedicate yourself deep into the Metroid lore like I have. Well, that's that's your first mistake. But but this isn't a Metroid game. Though. Ninja Gaiden. It's a Ninja Gaiden game. I like it. I should have been happy about that. Holy crap. I, I love it when things I like are now things that, that are different, but also like the thing I like still. Oh, Especially good. if they're two things I like. Holy shit. This got no this got nominated for the VGX Award for Best Wii Game. <laughs> Nothing else came out that year. Not No More Heroes 2. Nothing. I'd rather play No More Heroes 2 than this. Oh, absolutely. I love No More Heroes 2. I like me some No More Heroes 2 mm -hmm. as well. Rated T for teen? Oh my god! Oh, this game? Is it because of the monologues? That's because of the, probably the, the alien blood. No, probably. It's a common thing for Metroid games. That's hilarious. Oh, I love looking up user reviews because I can tell who legitimately had fun with it and who plays Ninja Gaiden. And I can also see who's a really big hardcore Metroid fan. What would you give that? Okay, I might ask you this a few times throughout the series. P please do, I like to keep a consensus. Because we found some positives. Sure. Obviously, there's negatives all over the place because the story fucking sucks. Don't have to look too hard. Yeah, don't have to look very yeah, hard. They all stem from one thing, though, usually. Yeah, 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 yeah. At this point right now, we're in episode five. So uh -huh. maybe every five episodes, I'll ask this. Okay, fine. What's your current score? Current score, I would give this... <sighs> on where I am now in recording, too. But let's just say for, for at this very moment, what we've experienced so far. We fought a couple bosses, we got the ice beam, we got the diffusion beam. Are, are we taking my Metroid bias into heart? Partially. Partially. Don't let it, like, skew your score, like, five points or something like that. Like, don't go, this isn't like my Metroid games, immediate three out of ten. Alright, I'll split this into two then. Okay. That, that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I will have my uh, my lizard casual brain just, you know, whatever, <laughs> just want to play a game. Yep. And the Metroid fan in me. The Metroid fan in me would probably give this a 5 out of 10. That tracks. But the Ninja Gaiden fan in me would probably give it, I'd say, probably about a 6.5. 6.5? I'm telling you, that going from two, from three, from uh, third person to first person, it is agony. Agony, Niskel. 
I could see it. It is like, it's, I, I, I loathe it. And it wants me to be precise in a lot of things. And, oh, well, there's a lot of lava here. <laughs> Just shake a hot tub back. I, I thought maybe I'd be able to grab something or move forward, but I, I, I guess not. Uh, get... Oh, oh, I'm getting the call. Okay, Samus. Head to Sector 2. Uh -huh. There's a high probability of survivors hiding there. We'll have to take care of that freak of nature later. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. So I guess we're just done here. Wait, what? Yep. Uh, we're we're now done in sector three. We are now moving to sector two. So we came in here, fought a boss, got our various suit, got our ice beam, and made it to a point of no return. And or sorry, not a point of no return, a giant blockade, and was just told, all right, GTFO. Yep. There was a big pool of lava saying, well, can't do anything about that right now. Uh, Samus, I'm still in charge of this mission. Go somewhere else. Because that's what I love about Metroid games, is, is uh, being told immediately where to go. And then backtrack. The entire way. Uh-huh. The, enti the entire way. Now, luckily, we have a bit of a shortcut to get to Sector 2. That's good. So this is going to take long. Oh, this guy's just vibing. Do you have to kill him? Do, do they think they're, they're pulling a fast one? Just let him go. He's gonna attack me as soon as I go towards. Oh no! Oh no! Right, I got well. you! Ha ha! I die, 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 die. I All snuck right. up on you, Samus. All, right. All right, you got me. You got me. <laughs> so I, uh, I took a little gander on the phone because uh, first of all I wanted to see reviews, and second of all, you, you gotta do something while I'm screaming. Well, I had to wonder: is this a Motion Plus problem? Motion Plus came out in '09. This came out in 2010. I don't think they utilized it, I I, but I think it's compatible. So I'm wondering if that's why you're having such a problem. No, I had a problem, like, even back in the day. This oh, is, okay, like, okay. Because the system has to recognize that the controller has now moved from third person to first. Oh, yeah. And okay. you can't, and you can't, you can't do that through motion controls. You have to do that with the push of a button. Because, ooh, he's, I, I got a flip, flip right now. Aw, oh, you jumped the gun. That was, is, that was a frustration jump. It is such agony to fire missiles in this game, because I have to get my distance, and then it has to lock on, and then there we go, but he still won't do it, because he has to fucking be... Then he throws out those things! Then he throws out babies! He throws out babies! I don't want the babies! Get the babies out of here! Ah! Ah! <laughs> and that's cool that he, uh, like, twists his body in a certain way, yeah, so he doesn't make sure that I dodge in a certain way. That's cool! Get over it! Oh, well... Babies! That's that's a lot more babies than he did before. Oh, that must means he's close to death. Hopefully, there. There we go. Death. 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 Yeah. I got infinite missiles essentially. That's frustration, man. Oh, yep. More, more babies. More, more children. Is it random? Fuck. Yeah, it might be. Between four and six children at the same. Oh well, three. Come the hell on, heck and dang on! No, not Yeesh, even, come not on, even what? Concerned. God, <laughs> how do you grab me from that? <laughs> <laughs> Such a Ninja Gaiden move, too. <laughs> like, like, there's some grade-A bullshit in Ninja oh, Gaiden. Ever since the NES days, there's some grade-A bullshit. But, uh, yeah, being grabbed out of nowhere where you thought you were way out of harm's way, that's a Ninja Gaiden move. If you were to ask me now, I think that point five would be less and less Yep. Possible. This is why I asked you before we got to some more bullshit. Yep, yep, right, because right now I think it's getting to a six. There we go. All right, the point five stays. Because it actually died. It actually died. You know, that, that, that could have been a lot worse, but I knew that missile plus red spot equals hurt. Mm -hmm. So oh, here's your here's your shortcut. Yep. This is our elevator back to the main sector. This is how we're gonna get to sector two. All right. This elevator is bound for the main sector. So another article I was scrolling through while trying to find the Metacritic reviews said Metroid Dread has a lot more in common with other M than Super Metroid. Sure. That's only if you want to be make a game, uh, game journalism about it. No, I agree. Oh, she talks! Oh, she... There are cutscenes! Well, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying a lot of the moves come back for Dread. Well, sure, yeah. Which is perfectly fine, because they're cool looking. I, I assume it's the ones where she's being cool and awesome and Ninja Gaiden-y and Rhea Hayabusa and badass and... I like to see my lady kill monsters. See, one of the coolest things she does is when she snaps to... Just, just you know, yeah. locks into a, into a shooting position. That's that's so cool when she does that. Just... It's so cool. <laughs> when she does the... I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they kept the... From other end and, and not the... 
told you. Were were they doing it bioweapons here, Adam? I didn't. That's <laughs> go go back to sleep, Samus. It's uh, fine. I, I, I just took another Ambien. Uh, and there you go. There you go. Oh hey, look the ice. Yep, we're now in the ice section. So uh, can, can, I, can I turn on the heat beam, Adam? Adam. Heat beam. Adam. I have a heat beam. Can I use it, Adam? Hello, Adam. Can I? Anybody Is this there? Thing on? Anybody? Wow, that looks really bad. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, uh, come in, come in, Anthony. Is is Adam responding right now? I need to ask him a a, a personal question about the. Anthony, Anthony. <sighs> All right, Luke, can you come in? Oh, he's dead. Shit. Uh, well, I'll just sit here then. See you next time on Metroid Other M. <laughs>